Hello, my wonderful students. Teacher Sam here, your guide to unlocking the magic of English. Wanting so badly to join a conversation, to share your thoughts and connect with others in English, but the words just won't come out. Don't worry, my friends, because today we're diving deep into the art of conversation. We're going to uncover the secrets to starting a conversation with confidence and keeping it flowing naturally. Whether you're a beginner or you've been learning for a while, but still feel a bit shy, this video is for you. Get ready to say goodbye to awkward silences and hello to engaging, meaningful conversations. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. Let's start with the very beginning, shall we? It all starts with a simple greeting. Don't overthink it, my friends. A warm hi or hello works wonders. But here's the secret ingredient, a genuine smile. Yes, a smile can be heard through your voice, even online. It instantly makes you more approachable and puts the other person at ease. Remember, the first few seconds of an interaction are crucial. They set the tone for the entire conversation. So relax, take a deep breath, and greet them with a friendly smile. All right, so you've broken the ice with a friendly greeting. Now, how do you keep the conversation going? The answer, my friends, lies in the power of open-ended questions. Instead of asking, do you like movies? Try something like, what kind of movies do you enjoy watching? See the difference? Open-ended questions invite the other person to open up, share their thoughts, and elaborate. And here's a little secret. People love to talk about themselves. So by asking open-ended questions, you're not only keeping the conversation going, but you're also showing genuine interest in the other person. It's a win-win situation. Conversations are a two-way street, my friends. While asking questions is important, it's equally important to share something about yourself. This helps to build rapport and make the conversation more personal. Start small. Share a hobby you enjoy, a book you're reading, or even just your favorite type of weather. These little snippets of information make you more relatable and give the other person something to connect with. Remember, conversations are like building blocks. Each piece of information no matter how small, adds to the foundation of a meaningful connection. Have you ever noticed how some people just have this amazing ability to make you feel heard and understood? Well, my friends, the secret ingredient is genuine interest. When you're genuinely interested in what someone has to say, it shows in your body language, your tone of voice, and the questions you ask. So, put away your phone, Silence those notifications and give the other person your undivided attention. Listen attentively to their words, nod to show you're following along and make eye contact if you are comfortable doing so. Be present, be engaged and show them that you truly care about what they have to say. Congratulations, my friends, you're doing great. You've started a conversation, asked open-ended questions shared something about yourself and shown genuine interest. Now, how do you keep that conversational ball rolling? The answer follow up questions. For example, if someone mentions that they enjoy traveling, don't just say, that's cool. Instead, ask them something like, what's your favorite place you've ever traveled to? Or where's your next adventure taking you? Remember, a conversation is a dance, not a monologue. So. Keep asking those follow-up questions and watch as the conversation flows effortlessly. Have you ever noticed how quickly a conversation can spark to life when you discover a shared interest with someone? That, my friends, is the power of common ground. As you chat with someone, pay attention to any clues that might reveal shared interests or experiences. When you find the common ground, don't be afraid to express your own enthusiasm. Share your own experiences, ask them questions about theirs, and watch as the conversation blossoms into a beautiful exchange of shared passions. 
Finding common ground is like building a bridge of understanding between two people. My dear students, we've talked a lot about asking questions, but there's another equally important aspect of conversation that often gets overlooked, active listening. Active listening means being fully present in the moment, engaging with the speaker, and showing that you're truly absorbing their words. So how do you become an active listener? First and foremost, put away any distractions. Use your body language to show that you're engaged. Make eye contact, nod your head, and lean in slightly to show that you're interested. And don't forget about verbal cues. Small phrases like, I see, that's interesting, or tell me more can go a long way in making the speaker feel heard and validated. Active listening is a gift you give to others. It shows that you value their thoughts, opinions, and experiences. And in turn, it creates a more meaningful and fulfilling conversation for everyone involved. All good things must come to an end, my friends, and that includes conversations. But just like a good movie leaves you wanting more, ending a conversation on a positive note ensures that the other person walks away with a smile on their face. So how do you end a conversation gracefully? First, acknowledge that the conversation is coming to a close. You can say something like, it was so nice chatting with you, or I really enjoyed our conversation. Next, express your gratitude for their time. A simple, thanks for taking the time to talk, or I appreciate you sharing your thoughts with me, goes a long way in showing your appreciation. Ending a conversation on a positive note leaves a lasting impression and opens the door for future interactions. Congratulations, my amazing students. You've now unlocked the secrets to mastering English conversations. Remember, the key is to relax, be yourself, and enjoy the journey. Starting a conversation and keeping it going and open up a world of opportunities from making new friends to advancing your career. Now I want to hear from you. What are some secrets that help you start a conversation and keep it going? Share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Let's create a community of confident English speakers. Until then, keep practicing, keep learning, and never stop believing in yourself.